Diane in Denmark here and rah 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 it's the start of a new week which means it's the start of new Fly Lady Zone. We're in a crossover week uh, this week which means we're going from one month to the next which means that we will be um, covering two zones this week but don't don't worry about it don't panic the main thing is that you get off your bahookie and you know set your time and just do five or ten minutes uh, at least once this week. If you can just focus on getting one session in this week, the rest will come. Don't, don't worry about having to do 15 minutes in you know, the zone every, every day of the week. Don't, if you, and I, I've learned from experience that if I kind of say, oh, I have to do 15 minutes every day, it doesn't happen because there's a day that I don't do it and then the whole, you know, that thing of, well, it's not gonna work. And so just do a, a wee bit, that, that's the main thing. Now, it, it is Monday which is the day that I do my weekly home blessing hour. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that with you today. And if you do need me to work along with you, I've got a little playlist up there. And remember, any time I go like that, it means that you can actually click on the screen, uh, you know, whether you're sitting at your computer with your mouse or on your iPad or on your telephone, and you will see the playlist that I'm talking about. So anyway, if you need help with the kind of weekly home blessing hour, do that. I'm, I'm all ready to do mine. I've got my wee cleaning caddy with me and my main thing, my cleaning caddy, when I do my weekly home blessing hour and my cordless headphones because I've got to have music when I work. Anyway, I'm going to be working along with you today and what I'm, I'm going to be doing in here is a declutter. I'm just going to be doing a short declutter and as I've said before, we are, you know, this is our living room. There's not much obvious clutter in here because and I've I keep my clutter contained, if I just show you, you've seen it before, I've got my little, um, what do you, my, my pamper basket there. So everything in this room has, uh, there's the rest of the room, uh, everything in this room has a home and what doesn't have a home goes in my pamper basket at the end of the day. So I kind of keep all the clutter together. So we, we've got to find homes for things and if you don't have homes for something, do you do you want to be keeping it or is it just kind of more junk so so let's kind of keep the the clutter uh, on our radar and I'm going to be doing a wee spot of decluttering in the big chest of drawers that we have so I'll, I'll turn you around but the main thing is just work for five or ten minutes and do something okay because this is why the fly lady system works that we're doing a little bit consistently we're not we're not cleaning the whole house all the time because it doesn't work that way, life doesn't work that way. And if you were doing that, you wouldn't have time for all the fun things. You know, that the Fly Lady system is freeing you up so you can get out and, you know, do some fun stuff. And we don't want to be sat here cleaning all the time. Anyway, let me turn you around uh, and I'll get the timer started. Okay, off we go. I've got the timer going. And I've got a couple of bags uh, for a giveaway throwaway. And, and this is the big chest of drawers. Uh, that belong to my dearly departed Danish father-in-law. Right, and it's very old, uh, but it, it functions. Okay, and in here, this is where I keep, uh, you know, my linens, you know, my tablecloths, stuff like that. And I've decluttered these before, so I'm not expecting to find anything. These were the ones that I made with. Um, material from Ikea for Christmas and for birthdays and things because red and white are the Danish colours. Oh, and the birds, I don't know if you can hear Tweet and Sparky, they're going mad, right? They can see me filming and they want to come in. I've, I've let them uh, fly through next door. Okay, these are all tablecloths and I want to keep them all. This is also a family one and you can see hearts are very popular in Denmark, uh, especially at Christmas, all the Christmas hearts. Okay, and this is one that I had kept it for that one of the kids has made at school. And I kept it, but actually I think now I can, I can let it go. And this is the good thing about decluttering, you know, going round and round, that sometimes you're not kind of ready to let go of something, but the next time that it gets easier and easier. So if you're just starting decluttering, don't... Don't panic if you're finding it difficult to get, let go of things. It, it gets easier with practice. Right, and those, are, I want to keep all of those, that's fine. I'll maybe just put them into piles of kind of Christmassy or high days and holidays. And I'll keep all these red and white ones together. Right, that's fine. 
And on this side, and it's actually, it's much faster for me to declutter when I'm on my own, but of course I'm talking you through the process. Not want that. Right, and these are more decorative ones. And this was one that I actually bought recently uh, over in Sweden in a charity shop. And it's a really nice one with uh, hearts. And I think I got it for like 50 pence, you know, uh, like half a dollar, something like that. So that, that's going to be a really nice one for Christmas. Uh, that was one that we got when we got married, uh, like 20 odd years ago. Uh, it's the fairy tales of um, Hans Christian Andersen. So that's a keeper. And then I've got this yellow one. I don't know why. Actually, that can go down with my Easter uh, box because I, I don't know why it's still up here. I've got, you know, Easter things in a uh, tub. And that's just um, another white tablecloth. So that's fine. So all of those can go back. So that's fine. And I've got one thing for going out and one thing for being put in storage. Right, next one. These are our DVDs. Come closer, come closer, my darling, come closer. Right. And the ones at the back are things like Star Wars, uh, the Marx Brothers, I love the Marx Brothers, my, my granddad was a huge Marx Brothers fan, uh, and things like Doctor Who, uh, Iron Man, Sherlock, so all those are being kept, and the ones at the front are um, films that you know we watch a lot or occasionally watch, I'm, I'm just going to have a quick look and see if there's a, any that can go, oh, here's our favourite one. Okay, and the Harry Potters, they can all stay. Big Bang Theory, that belongs to the kids, they can stay. Comedians, I like to watch comedians, some French films. Oh, one of the ones that I got for Christmas. And that's like when, when I'm feeling sorry for myself or having a bad day, I just need to have a wee look at that. Uh, or Father Brown, and I'm cheered right up instantly. Okay, all those. Oh yeah, another one that cheers me up. Chiefs and, oh, sorry. Chiefs and Worcester. Right. Oh, another one is that you got to keep and die hard. Yeah. Okay, I've found a couple that can probably go. Oh, here's Mamma Mia. And I, I went to see the new, the, you know, the second Mamma Mia couple of weeks ago and I had to I must be the only one on the planet that really didn't like it. I was so disappointed in the second one. I just didn't like it at all. And so sorry all the Mamma Mia fans. I really loved the first one but didn't like the second one. Right and that is a kit. Mm. Oh actually probably okay. That one okay so I found three which we can um Probably get rid of. I'll, I'll ask the I'll ask the kids, but I think these can probably go. So not many, but you know the classics are here. So that is giveaway. Back in. Let me just check the timer. Yeah. Oh, we've got plenty of time left. Okay. Um. The next one I, was. Actually, something that I decluttered here in the last time we were in this area, which were, um, you know, all our candles and things like that. And I got rid of a lot of things, so that, that I don't need to go through this time. And just while we're on the subject, um, the weather here has really turned autumnal in, in the last week. And it, it, I, I think that's part of the reason I was kind of feeling down, because I don't like the autumn. I've told you that before. But on the other hand, we get to kind of turn up all the hygge things. So this week, I'll make a wee video about how to get the kind of Danish hygge into your everyday life. All, all the little things that <laughs> can get us through these tough, uh, tough days. So anyway, so I'm not, I'm not needing to get rid of any more uh, candle holders. Oh, those birds are going crazy. Right, okay, next one. Okay, this one up 
top, I don't know if you can see, I don't know if I can get higher. Nah, okay, I'm just going to have to talk you through it. Um, this is where I keep all our, um, you know, serviettes, um, things for um, birthdays, you know, the, on the birthday table, and anything that I need, you know, for, for you know, something to do with birthdays and little flags, all of the Danish flags. So I think those are keepers. Um, what else have I got in here? Oh, I'll tell you what can go. When I made a video about Huga last year, I showed you how to, just a, a tiny little craft thing of how to make some paper flowers. And actually, I, I think I can get rid of these ones, right? They were quite cute, but you know, I don't need to keep everything. So those can go out, paper recycling. Oh, and I also got more flags in here because we are a, a Scottish Danish family. So Scottish flags. Here. For when it's birthday time. Right, okay, so that's alright. And as I say, the rest are just various. Uh, serviettes and whenever we have wee guests you know I always like to bring out those or you know and I've had these since my daughter was small but anyway you, there's no need to throw them out we can use them up oh here we are Harry Potter right okay and oh tell you what there is a couple of things here oh that's just rubbish from the serviettes and bags that can go out this was something that belonged to my dear Danish father-in-law. And my husband didn't want to keep it, but I thought, oh, you know, we could use it for a pig's reason. And I actually think it's now, looking at it, I think, why did I think we have to keep it? There was no actually, there was no significance. It wasn't a thing that the family loved. It was just, I thought, oh, well, you know, we should hang on to that. Uh, I think I'm going to release this and let it go. So that will go to the, um, the charity shop thrift store. Uh, and also in here, I keep things, you know, for, you know, polishing silver, you know, silver uh, rags, things like that. Oh, and this was, actually, I'll bring this out and display it again. Uh, it's um, just a little box from Williamsburg. My, my, um, my old boss, uh, Sir David Edward, you know, the one that I used to work for at the Court of Justice in Luxembourg, the European Court of Justice. Every time he went on a trip, he would bring us something back, like a tea towel or some little knick-knack, some little trinket. Uh, and I really like this. So in here, I kind of put like little knick-knack things. And because I like to move things around and, you know, freshen up the place from time to time, I kind of put things in and take things out. So this is coming out and that will go, you know, on display. Right. And I think basically that is it. Oh, and on the very top... Um, this is where I keep uh, candles, big candles, um, and a little uh, tea light, you know, the IKEA tea lights because we're really coming into candle season. And also the, uh, the LED ones, the, the IKEA ones are really good when, when they don't melt. Right, so I think that is it. So, okay, I've got... Um, a few DVDs, this is going to the charity shop, I've got the tablecloth that will go back into storage with my Easter things, because I don't really use this yellow one unless, unless it's Easter, and I think that is about it. So, I, what, what I will do now is I'll set my timer for another few minutes and get these things put away. Remember, when you're doing a declutter session, setting your timer just for you know, 10 or 15 minutes is, is the way to go. If you feel like you can do another 15 minutes afterwards, that is great. But don't do that thing where you think, oh yeah, I'll just declutter, you know, something in the living room. And then two hours later, you've got everything spread on the floor and 
you, you don't know what's for dinner, you haven't put your lol, your load of laundry on. So, so just take it in the small chunks and all will be good. So anyway, um, keep, keep working in zone five and zone one this week. Remember, living room and then entrance, uh, the dining room. I might do another declutter uh, session um, in these zones this week. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what's coming up? But anyway, uh, as usual, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. So live long and prosper. May the Danish food be with you. And let's hope we get the sunshine today and I'll see you very soon. Okay, bye for now.